Hey, welcome to our first vlog. Today I'm going to be talking about the keys to the kingdom. What are the keys to the kingdom? And how do we use them in our life? I want to share this with you guys in this short little teaching here. And uh, by firstly just um, sharing about this dream I had. And this is where it all began for me. This unraveling of this revelation, this journey of, of God showing me what the keys to the kingdom are and how they can be used. And so at the beginning of this year, 2016, I had this amazing dream where I met this man of God. And I didn't know him and hadn't could not recognize his face, but he came to my front door, introduced himself, and we went for a walk talking about revival and talking about what God was going to do in the nations, and it was such a powerful dream, but the most powerful part, I believe, was at the end. As he was leaving, he handed me a big set of keys, and it looked like those old jailer, you know, key rings, you know, had these old keys on it, they looked like ancient, you know, keys that could un unlock the, you know, the, the, the pyramids or something like that. It was so old. But yeah, there's some new keys on there as well. And these silver keys and they were shining and new and I was so intrigued. Uh, I woke up, I woke up and I was like, what does this mean? And I heard the Lord simply say, I'm releasing the keys to the kingdom, to the body of Christ. And what I've come to discover, and just unpack this with me, you know, Jesus said greater things than these that you shall do. Now, he was prophesying that he'd walked in, you know, amazing healing. He'd walked in, you know, uh, in, uh, absolute authority over the, over the demoniac and over the, over, the, over the things that were coming against him. But yet he still prophesied greater than what you saw me do. I'm going to do through you. You're going to do greater things. And so what I believe that this season of the body of Christ is all about is greater authority and coming to a greater measure of the uh, of our inheritance, basically. And it's always been there. The fullness has always been there. But God's released a grace for us to step into the revelation of that very thing that has been always available to us. And so if you've seen two, the number two around in the last year, uh, maybe the last few months, whatever it's been, 222, two, two, uh, 2222, and the number two is all about open doors, stepping into something new, and authority. It's about the keys to the kingdom. Isaiah 22, 22 actually says, I'll place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. And what he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. But what is the key to the house of David? What is it representing of here? Like We understand that the keys to the kingdom are simply that doors you know that he, what opens no one can shut and what he shuts no one can open what what is the what is the kind of meaning of the shoulder to the uh, to the key of the house of david and i really asked the lord that and he said to me what did david represent what did he introduce and it was he david became royalty someone who was not royalty became royalty david was also someone who was intimate with the king he carried a heart after god's own heart and god god can to this day has honored david that even his own lineage jesus came from the house of david he even calls Jesus the son of David. Like what kind of honor is that? Except for somebody who had such a heart after God's own heart. So I believe God's saying here that the keys to the kingdom can only be given to those who are royalty, those who truly know the Father. And that's not to disclude people, but it's saying that we don't truly know what we possess until we know Him as Father. We don't truly know what it is that we carry unless we come into intimate relationship with Him. So the keys of David is a key in its own self. The keys to the house of David is that once you unlock the, the, the keys to the house of David, once you unlock intimacy with the Father and you know that royalty that you come from, something takes place, this transformation takes place where you step into this new awareness of what you carry so intimacy unlocks authority and that's how God has always intended it now this other scripture as well is that is Matthew 16 19 and I'll give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven what kind of authority do we have as sons and daughters that we can literally bind and loose there is nothing it doesn't it doesn't have like a little uh you know but at the bottom you know but this big demon over here or this big principality over here is too big for you or over this other thing over here is going to defeat you unfortunately you don't really carry the authority for everything but you know most things no god's saying everything whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven whatever you loose on earth uh, whatever you loose 
you know, it's it's available for us. We step into this authority as sons and daughters. And I think it's an exciting time to be alive. I really believe it is an exciting time to be alive. God is really transforming the body of Christ and their identity. And what what takes place is we start to become sons and daughters. We automatically step into a new authority. We automatically step into this place of knowing who we are. And so we don't allow the things that bothered us once before to bother us. It's almost like when you get so used to maybe walking uh, you know, around as a, as a depressed Christian, that's just your way of life because that's the level of understanding of your identity that you've walked in. And that's not to discredit people in depression, but God can set people free from depression simply by stepping in to uh, a knowledge and relationship with the father with that they know that they're a son and God does not want them to be in bondage to that thing and so many times I find that when when uh, when identity is addressed that when worth and value is addressed and people have encounters with the father when people have an encounter with the father uh, they truly get set free um, mind um, body soul it God just goes and overhauls the whole thing because he wants us to be free. He wants us to be whole. And so I believe that right now God's releasing the keys of authority in your life. He's wanting you to step up into a new realm. Um, I spoke at a church on the weekend and um, as a prophetic da- uh, prophetic act, I actually got them to step up and to hold their keys in their hand. And uh, we just decreed over their region that the keys of the kingdom, that the sons and daughters are rising, that they carry this authority. And there's something that took place in that moment I believe was really powerful because they had their own keys in their hand I wasn't I wasn't doing it for them I wasn't I wasn't taking the responsibility from them to be able to uh, you know pursue their their region and their land and take it back for the Lord yet they were doing it themselves but they were using the symbol of their own set of car keys or house keys or whatever to be able to really uh, show that and to be able to step in this place yeah that's right and I saw people at first they were like you know yeah I'm shaking my keys this is cool and you know Nate's told me to do this etc before before you know as we're prophesying before um, you know what like I'm looking around the room and people are going wow yeah I'm getting this I'm getting this like I've not had authority I've not been able to overcome the enemy in areas of my life and suddenly I'm realizing now I can suddenly I'm realizing now that I have this authority, God reveal this authority. And as we start to ask him to reveal it, he reveals it. But what comes with authority as well is that he starts to instill in us who we are in our identity. Those two come in hand in hand. That's why that scripture says the keys to the house of David is also hand in hand with authority. Intimacy and authority, identity and authority, they all come together. It's only through royalty that the, uh, the understanding of who we are in, in, the, in the house of God that we get to understand that we get to step into this new level of authority and we get to take back the areas in our life that have been in bondage we also get to take back our region and our nation for the lord and god's really calling people up in this hour to step in that kind of authority it's such a powerful thing guys and i know he's doing it in you today i know that he's just speaking to some places in your life where you know that you've not been in control you know that there's been some areas that the enemy has robbed you in and i believe right now he's wanting to bring healing to you I i believe he's just calling you up right now you're just feeling a fire if you're feeling a fire over your body whatever it is that God's doing in you right now he's showing and revealing that he's saying it's time to come up it's it's no longer okay to live in Egypt it's no longer okay to live in a place that is powerless and where you're defeated and you're never ever seeing the light of day that is old and that is done and God's saying no it's time to step up it's time to come out of that place and for him to bring healing and restoration to you and to reveal you as a son and daughter and it's so powerful I see that taking place in your life and I actually had this dream it wasn't too long ago where I was in some kind of coronation like in um like you know what takes place in um in Britain in in their monarchy and uh, I was being coronated with all these other people and uh, a crown was being placed on our heads and were given a scepter and it's just amazing because God was just showing me yet again that there's this there's this transfer that's taking place where the sons and daughters are being um, are being revealed in this season. We're orphans, we're people who don't know their father, who don't know what they have, are being revealed in this season as powerful. And today he calls you to his table. He calls you to the palace out of that place of, of 
obscurity and defeat. He's calling you to the table today. I just release over you today those encounters with the Father heart of God. And I just right now speak to your soul. I speak to those places that have been in defeat. And I call you out of that place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Guys, be blessed. And I'll see you next time on Nate and Christie's vlog.